Welcome to my protective anger vlog series slash channel. Uh, rational anger to the rescue. Reclaiming anger power to clear mind fog. So basically that's what you see there. That is what you see there in black and white. And uh, across my channel there, YouTube channel. So, uh, I, I, I'm not sure how this channel is going to end up to be. In what direction it's going to be. But I do know one fucking thing though. That it's not going to be a gentle, silent, quiet, cricket, bored and making you fall fucking, fall asleep fucking type of content. No, fuck no man. Why? Because there's a major sense of urgency in me that's been building up for many fucking years. And you should have one too. You should have also some sense of urgency to produce great, rational, timeless content to save Western civilization. So, uh, wh what does it mean? Protective anger as my, my main headline, main name of my ch new channel. But what does it mean? You, you may have sense that uh, for maybe all your life, for decades, hundreds of years uh, even, the emotion of anger has been denigrated, spit upon, repressed, uh, made to look really dangerous, psychotic, insane, and a destructive emotion that should be high, hidden, especially for men, among men and of men. As opposed to women, that's a whole different uh, double standard and, and uh, hypocritical uh, application though. Because women and girls, they are pardoned and excused away for any emotions that they may feel and express explicitly, loudly. But more than ever, for many decades, us men, no, we are looked uh, at, uh, at as monsters to be shunned. And by mostly the, uh, the conformist, personal, political class, the leftist, feminists, and the white knight men. That is what they want uh, of us men and boys. To kowtow to the leftist feminist propaganda. So what does it mean also? Uh, what do I mean? Never mind anybody else, just me. What do I mean by rational anger to the rescue? What, what I mean is, along with, well, not along, but as a subset, below, below what, what, what the, the, the most powerful thing that can come to their rescue in your life, or you, because you have a crisis, tragedy, or you just want to improve minor things uh, in your life, is philosophy, rational philosophy. But a subset of that, uh, among many others, is uh, rational anger. And what, what that does when you don't feel so guilty and you do not uh, uh, censor yourself and uh, restrain yourself to fully feel the, the, the whole spectrum of emotion and feelings, I have discovered for, for many years that the emotion of anger, along with the emotion of love, generosity, uh, empathy, sympathy, uh, can uh, happen in me as fast as those uh, so-called very politically uh, encourage uh, emotions of love, uh, uh, empathy, sympathy. Uh, if, if you do not restrain yourself, restrain, and if you f uh, those emotions of, uh, of, uh, of being upset and anger, most of all. Not rage. That is very different. The emotion of rage is, is way beyond anger where you are in a state out of control. You are not in control of yourself, your behavior, your physical, mental behavior. So I'm not talking about rage. There's a big, massive fucking difference between rage and anger. So uh, it me took many decades to, to get the knowledge, to learn. Uh, sometimes very uh, much in isolation and with a lot of pain. And, uh, and through losing, as a result, uh, many friends, former friends. To understand the power of many of those emotions that the powers that be in public education, your, your, your own parents perhaps, your public school teachers, the social engineers out there, your social worker, your nurse, your doctor, 
your local uh, politician have repressed and said, oh, no, it's politically incorrect, it's socially uh, discouraged and not looked down, uh, not looked uh, well upon. So, so anger, uh, what I find, it really, really pushes back, push backs, uh, in, uh, against the, uh, those that want you, uh, subtly, invisibly, even to conform, to conform to their worldview, their perspective, their uh, thinking, their, uh, actually their non-thinking, their social, social justice warrior uh, crusade. So this fucking conformity of all kinds, mind you, to loud and explicit, from a very local to uh, an international type of uh, conformity, uh, I find one of the major uh, emotions to fight that, to cut through the conformity fog, the social, social justice warrior fog, acid-like fog also, is to never, never, never restrain and, and, uh, and be guilty ever again. To live, to feel completely your anger. And what that does, it reduces to, uh, to eliminate the mind fog, the fear of doing anything, anything really valuable that is valuable enough to, to, to be worth uh, protecting, and because of the internet, st content online is is more than ever possible. If you feel more than ever, not just silently in your mind, oh, I'm angry, I'm angry. No, really, let it out, express it. However, you you feel most comfortable doing it. For me, it's heavy fucking weightlifting. And recently, I added a. Uh, 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 and, uh, and essentially, that's, it's written on a fucking baseball bat. A baseball bat. Long, the biggest, longest baseball bat available. And, and to hit uh, tires. So, I go for sprints of hitting all my might. Uh, large tires. I get for free in my local garage. On my, and I put down on my property. It's going to be part also of my tactical training. For self-defense and also uh, so for fitness training. So, ho however you desire to express your anger to, to rouse you up and to frighten yourself into productive, benevolent, rational, life-saving Western civilization type of action and produce and put timeless content online to push back against those fucking motherfucker globalists. Do it now! Start now! Don't wait any longer! You, you have no idea if you're gonna be still alive tomorrow! As, as that goes for myself also. Do it now, please. 